Do you want to know what may be the biggest obstacle that's keeping you from taking action today? Watch this video and I'll share it with you. I'm Jeffrey Shaw, business coach for self-employed business owners, author of Lingo and the Self-Employed Life and host of the Self-Employed Life podcast. You know, sure, I could pump you up with a motivational talk about if not now, when, or what are you waiting for? Live your best life now. Sure, I could pump you up, but instead, I'm going to point out what you may be ignoring that's keeping you from taking action today. That thing that you're ignoring, I call it an inkling. Some may call it an intuition, but I think there's a little difference between an intuition and an inkling. An intuition is that gut feeling, a powerful one. An inkling is more of a whisper of the heart. It can be very subtle, which is why it's so easy to ignore it. So I'll share with you a couple of stories of where I've seen this firsthand. So the first is as a photographer for so many decades. So often people would ask me, when should I photograph my kids or when should I photograph my family? And I would always say, when you thought of it. Similarly, people reach out to me for coaching and ask all the questions. We'll have a couple phone calls and then they don't follow through, right? They don't take action on it. What is important about this? What's important about this to understand is that timing is rarely perfect, but that inkling, that whisper of the heart is almost always perfect. It's almost always on time. That's why when people say, when should I photograph? I would say, when you've thought of it. When people reach out for coaching support and they don't follow through, it's disappointing that they didn't follow the whisper because there's, there's a reason. I believe there's a reason they thought of it at that time. Think about it. What's always one of our biggest regrets in life is that when you have an idea, and you don't follow through on it. You don't act on it. So I ask you, are you going to, are you ready to listen to those soft whispers, those inklings of the heart? Here are some things that you can do. So first of all, don't ignore those inklings. Pay attention to when you've thought of something. There may be a reason. Like I said, timing in life is rarely perfect, but I believe those little whispers, those inklings are coming along at the perfect time. Be careful not to ignore them. Together, you can combine with uh, what I refer to as something I learned from one of my coaches. This coach was Brian Wetton. What I learned from him was what he called the three voices. So you can kind of marry the idea of not ignoring that whisper with also listening to what Brian describes as the three voices. Those three voices are the voice of fear, the voice of reason, and the voice of intuition. Now, of course, the voice of fear is going to be the loudest, but you know, acknowledge the voice of fear, but don't give it a whole lot of merit because the voice of fear is interested in your past and not your future. It's interested in your past because all the information, the voice of fear, all its information has to come from the past. I do believe the voice of reason plays an important role here in paying attention to your inklings, right? Because you sort of have to introduce the logical mind to just pay attention to whether that inkling makes sense so that you're not just going down random paths. So I think the voice of reason has a powerful role here, but at the end of the day, it is, as Brian refers to it, is the voice of intuition. I'm calling it that soft whisper of an inkling, and that's the one you want to pay attention to. If you ignore that inkling, those soft whispers of the heart, there's a really good chance that you could be putting off doing something that you should do today. Now, I don't want to get morbid, but I can't tell you how many times as a photographer, families didn't pay attention to that feeling like I should do it now. And unfortunately, something tragic happened and a family member was lost. Or the coaching clients that reach out for coaching support usually you know, wanting to transition from a corporate job to self-employment, so they want support on getting their side gig going. And then they don't listen to that, that inkling and shortly thereafter lose their job. So now they don't have the money 
to pay for the support they need to build the side gig, which puts them in a much more difficult position. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people ignore that inkling and regret it. So I'm asking you to not do that. Pay attention to those, those inklings. If you'd like to gain more support, coaching support, business strategies, uh, take a look at my book, The Self-Employed Life. It was written for you. I think you'll find it really helpful. Of course, you can find that wherever books are sold. It's The Self-Employed Life. And by all means, subscribe to the channel because I will continue to put out uh, business strategies, marketing tips, coaching, book reviews, two videos a week. So subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss a thing.